Hi Aries, it's Opulent Spiritual, another reading. Shout out to you guys. This is for June 2024. So let's get into this. And at the end of the reading, I'll do charms and cards and all that stuff. And make sure you watch your sun, moon, and rising and all that good shit. All right. So let's see what's happening for the peeps. Very weird. Uh, oh, exciting. Exciting times here. A little excitement, but you guys are always excited. So I think it's just you just being happy, excited about things happening now. Things are starting to roll on here. Roll out. Look at look at that. All right, so you're very happy right in the beginning here. Something's going to make you very happy. Tears of joy, happiness here. Emotions are going to be overflowing. Maybe you're going to be very emotional within like the first few days of... June. Hmm. Chinese year of the go, Leo. You know, this is very interesting. You have like multiple offers here of money things. You have like four different offers of money opportunities here. This could be people wanting to collab with you. This could be like promotions of something. You know, I don't know if you do something online, but it's something you're getting like a lot of um, opportunities here. A lot of opportunities here. There's definitely someone here that wants to express themselves to you. They're connected to this opportunity here. Hmm. Taurus. Chinese year of the pig, Sagittarius. So let's find out more. Oh, you got like the hermit energy here. Road traveled alone. And it's very light. Look at this. You've been traveling a long time alone on this journey. And now look, it's right here. The opportunity you've been waiting for. The opportunity you've been waiting for, it's it's so it's happening <clears throat> right in the beginning of the, the month. Woo! And my throat is getting scratchy already. So maybe you're not supposed to know that. It's supposed to be a surprise. Sagittarius, you have Chinese here, the dog here, Scorpio, but someone is leading you to this. This could be a friend or just I'm hearing a, a colleague here. which I don't use that word a lot, so that's weird. So Leo is here. Pisces, someone, you're, you're being divinely guided. And you don't have, you're not a burden or anything. You're not upset. It's very clear. You know where you're going. You're not lost in the shuffle of anything. You have love here. You have letter E, 333 I'm seeing. News, love is on the mind here. Dealing with love. You have letter E twice here. You do have like an eye that's evil here with the pupil pointy. But it's at the bottom, so it's like, eh. Like not at the severe bottom, but in the edge. So it's like, yeah, there's people that are envious of you. I mean, not everybody's going to like you. Or people just don't understand why you're like this, you know? That you're okay with being alone and doing your own thing. Like, you're your own best friend. People don't understand that. They're like, what's wrong with them? Like, they're they're a weirdo or something. Like, maybe you go out to dinner by yourself and shit. You go on dates with yourself and people are like... You know, what's wrong with them? Like, I could never do that. That's like bizarre. And it's like, no, it's not. 7-7 seven, seven here is your angel number. 77. You're just, li you're just living your life. You're happy in June. Letter J. Number 6. Letter C. Letter P. CPC. And you have cancer here. And you have a genie lamp with four wishes here. 
not just three, four. So it's like four wishes that you want, that you're wishing for, that you're manifesting. It's in like the beginning of the month here. Chinese ear, the dog is here. And number six, six days, the sixth could be significant. Gemini, Chinese ear, the snake. And uh, yeah, June, which we're in right now. This is June. And you have 11 here. Connected to Taurus, Chinese ear of the ox. Hmm. 25. 11 here. 11 and 11. 11, 11. You could be meeting a divine counterpart here. And 11 here. Look. And 11 here. 11, 11, 11, 11. Wow, a lot of you are meeting like a soulmate or a twin flame. Divine counterpart here. The one you're destined to be with for the rest of your life. Letter D, Sagittarius, um, Capricorn. Hmm. Maybe you're leaving an earth sign. Or there's like earth energy here. Or this earth sign's um, not ready to speak up because they're in reverse. There's two people that you're not talking to right now. I'm seeing Chinese, you're the rat. Um, or you lost contact with these people. 113 is here. Hmm. All right, so there is someone that ghosted you right here, and there's a question mark in their body. So they're confused. I don't know, but they're the one that ghosted you. So I don't, this person's a weirdo. I don't know what's going on with that. Like, you ghosted me. Now you're confused. <laughs> so this is a big uh, no right here. So if you're dealing with something like that at the end of the month, I would just say, uh, F that. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, but this person maybe is trying to come back to you, but they ghosted you before and left you confused. We have number 26 here, 22. And here we go. We have a, a new path opening up here, and it's connected to Pisces. Uh, money here, lots of monies here towards the end of the, of the month. And you have help from two people here towards the end of the month with that. Hmm. That's nice. Okay. So we have a parrot here, and that's a lot that's a lot of gossip. You're gonna be hearing a lot of gossip or people are gonna be talking about you. And I'm hearing how you moved on so quickly. So you moved on from something so quickly, and people are gonna be like, wow, that person. Aries really moved on like super quick from that. Yeah, because you're you live in the moment. You know what I mean? Like you're not living like, oh, I gotta dwell on this. No, you're like, all right, let's keep going here. I don't have time for that. Cause like you're very impatient. You're like, okay, I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go like yesterday. So what are we doing here? Cause I'm ready to leave. Rising to challenges or is is it's gonna be okay because you're the phoenix here. Letter D is here, but like you're rising from whatever this is that was an issue here. Chinese year of the goat, Chinese year of the dog. And you're moving forward from problems and I'm hearing abuse. So you were getting abused in some kind of situation, number six, which is uh, Chinese year of the snake. You're healing through something here, especially now in Gemini season. You're definitely going to be healing through something here. And you have a giant like uh, Christmas tree here. Something that could have been happening to you since Christmas time. And news is on the way about uh, something that happened in the winter, connected to the winter, connected to the holiday season. And you have love here as well with this heart. Letter J. Okay. So let's see what else is happening here. Mm 
Take it easy. Take it easy. Now that the sound of you. Oh. Yeah, two letters important in the first. You saw that popped out like that? Hmm. Very weird. So those two letters are going to be significant for the first week. Ooh. A little trip here. There could be like a surprise event or trip in the first week. All right, Aries. Definitely a lot of stuff happening in the second week. I mean, sorry, the well, I said the second week, but the fourth week. Starry night, paint your palette blue and gray. Now I understand what they tried to say to me. All right, let's see what's happening. First week, right? What is this? J N. Mm. Some kind of trip is happening here. Some kind of surprise event, a trip you're going to be very happy about. You could be moving forward on something as well. Yeah, you're going to be seeing something very clearly here. And it's destined and faded with the infinity here. Something is destined and faded in the first week. It's meant to happen. You're going to be pulled in many different directions. So make sure you ground yourself. You have Capricorn here. Wow. You're definitely going to be very, very torn between a lot of things here. Octopus and squid. Something with your family, your home, your roots could be changing. Maybe you're moving. Yeah, there's a big change here. Chinese here, the dragon. Taurus. Maybe it started happening in May. Find joy in the journey. Wow. Because maybe you guys just want things to happen really quickly, but Spirit's saying, you know, be lighthearted. You know, enjoy the journey. Wow, another infinity symbol. You have two. Two things that are happening in the first week are faded and destined. And look, you have a third one. And it has to do with love. You have faded love here. That's why I saw that 11, 11, 11, 11. You know what I mean? Like, it's this is... You're the only sign that got that so far. Earth energy. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Yeah, you're divinely guided and protected beyond. From any negative ill will. Yeah, you gain some kind of spiritual enlightenment here. Yeah, and you're cutting something out of your life. And it's very severe. And you're ending something that was very toxic. Very toxic here. And you're feeling uh vulnerable, like... Very gentle, lighthearted, the moon and sun. Oh, I said the moon and sun. I meant to say the moon and star, but your moon and sun are going to be highlighted uh, the first week. Yeah, news is coming. From a Virgo. Letter G. Wow. Something about she believes she could. If you're a female, then you, you believe that this would happen and it's happening now and you're going to be very happy. Yeah, this is like you have the key to unlock this door now from Spirit. Spirit's giving you the, the edge I'm hearing for you to move forward. The Four of Cups, there's an opportunity. There's something now being shown to you. 
So it's up to you to take action and take it. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. That's what you were dealing with a lot since March. Pisces energy here. Major challenge to overcome. You've been having major challenges and all this stuff since March. But now a wish is being granted here. Blessings. Angel messages. Pay attention. Because there's going to be a lot of angel messages in romance. Especially for this week. The first week and success. Very beautiful here. An anchor. Wow. Yeah, you're going to feel very secure and stable now. You're not going to be all over the place. Like worried. Having sleepless nights. No. You're going to be like, alright, I know exactly what's going on. This is happening. I'm very happy. 35. Number nine, Chinese year of the monkey, Virgo. Stability, reaching goals, persistence, work, long-term or lasting, reliable. Committed relationship, faithful partner, feeling stuck in a relationship. Lasting career, stability and employment, stable condition, long-term illness, September. Lasting circumstances. That's what's happening in the first week. So that's very exciting. They want you to know that. Because a lot of you are having doubts. There's a victory here. There's an X here. That could be happening in the... In the second week. There could be a water sign. You're being divinely guided. Number seven... So the seventh or seven days within the, the second week are going to be significant. Another X. Okay. You guys got a lot of charms too. Something with children or your inner child, your family in the second week is being highlighted. There's enemies here. Oh my gosh. And your faith. You keep having faith and trust. You're not giving up. Something with your sacral chakra, your creativity. Something about a little girl here. Chinese year of the rabbit, Aries, the child here. There's news happening. There's news coming. Maybe you're going to hear news that someone's pregnant in the second week. Yeah, someone's going to be communicating to you with the throat chakra. Yeah, and you have the anchor here. So you're going to feel secure. Secure about something or a decision. Definitely water sign energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're protected with the Hesma hand here. And yeah, Chinese year of the rabbit. Something is fertile. Something is, I'm hearing, enjoyable. There could be, uh, you could be having, uh, you know, a little lovemaking. A little sexual encounter in the second week here. Hmm. The tower. Look at this. All right, baby. You could be hearing about a marriage that's failing or something or someone's getting divorced or whatever. But I feel like this is happy though. Chinese year of the uh, um, horse and cancer. Something could be happening in cancer season connected to the second week. Or you're gonna be hearing something from a cancer and it has to do with freedom here, freeing themselves, cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Winter time. This person has been sad since October to March. Or that's you taking action. Now you're taking action on something with the tower. You have two towers here, but this tower means something else. But two tower moments. So just imagine that. <laughs> 19. So the 19th could be significant. And 6, which is June. Chinese here, the snake. Gemini. Protection, school, or other institution, isolation, something larger. And it could represent your work, a relationship. It's going to be different for all of you. Possible separation, loneliness. Preference for working alone, self-employment. May represent a hospital or en injury issue with the spine. So be careful of trips and falls and stuff like that here. So you don't get hurt. But yeah, one year. It's connected to like one year, 19 days, the 19th. All right. Oh, I just flipped that. And it's the tree. So we have the moon here. You're going to be in your emotions, your feelings in the third week. Oh. Letter E. Or it's this person because they want to go in the drawer. They don't want to be seen. You have Aries here. This could be another Aries. 
Zen, something about Europe, and I almost want to say Asia too. So you could be traveling in the third week. This is like Paris, the Eiffel Tower. I'm hearing where dreams are made of. This is where dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Family, your roots, your ancestors, maybe you're being rewarded with something because you have good luck. You're protected. Wow, and you have a uh, ohm here. Wow, divinely protected. You could be chanting, connecting to your ancestors. You're grounded. You're safe. You're protected in the third week. Let's see. Judgment. Yeah, because things are happening. Like everything is happening very faithfully. Like you're not even trying. You're surrendering to the divine. And you're and things are happening like it's like magic. You're like, wow. Romance is in the air. Broken ring, partings of the way in either romance or business. So it's like some of you, you could be leaving something and starting something like, and it's just very like an infinite loop. There's no disruption. It's like, it's just perfect. Dog far away, distant friend is thinking of you. They could be a Scorpio tower again. You have tower three times, tower, tower, tower. <clears throat> solid, solid foundation, success with effort. <clears throat> My throat. November. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Help is coming. Choose a new direction. Remain positive. And the tree. Remain positive with the tree here. Tree's great card. Number five, Chinese year of the dragon, Taurus. Number seven. Chinese year of the horse, freedom, and July, cancer. Health, connection to the past, and growth. Soulmates, long-term relationship, lasting partnership, rut slash routine relationship, growth period, patience needed. And um, I'm not seeing anything with health here, but it's definitely a judgment here. And the third week is connected to something that happened in May. And within five days of the of the third week, you're gonna know what that is. Yeah, there's something of authority here that's reaching out to you in the fourth week. Something connected to music. And the twelfth house. Something very dreamy here. So you could be getting like lost in like music or you know, like just enjoying like art and stuff like that maybe indul indulging in other things. You're divinely guided in the fourth week. You're being um, watched over by spirit and you're hesitating to do something, to take a risk or a leap of faith. And it could have to do with like some kind of long journey or some kind of trip. Hmm. Nine of Wands. <clears throat> You look sad here. I don't know what's going on. But like the candles are all lit and they're bright. But maybe you still feel confused. Hmm. Let's see. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. New job. Maybe you're confused. There's like a new job, new opportunity. Maybe you're hesitant. You don't want to take it. Gossiping. And soul connection, maybe it's a soul connection too. Wow, these are flipped up like this. So the, oh, these are the two that flipped up when I was shuffling within the next few months. Maybe that's why you're feeling a little disappointed. A peaceful resolution. Something in the fourth week is going to make you feel disappointed. And you have the fox here, which is uh, not really a good card. So let's see. Wow, it was going so good. And then it just fourth week 14 and number nine Chinese year of the monkey Virgo cunning intelligence tricks or mischief alternately can represent your work unconventional relationship deception manipulation career oriented person untrustworthy co-worker undiagnosed misdiagnosed issue get a second opinion so if you've been feeling like that you know 
maybe go get another checkup or something connected to the winter. But yeah, that's all I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. Comment down below. And uh, good luck with everything. Namaste. Love and light.